Hello everyone! Um, I haven't uploaded a video on this channel in like forever. Um, I think the last time I uploaded a video it was my photo card collection update from 2019 I believe. Um, well it's 2020 now um, and my collection has grown quite a bit and I've also reorganized my whole collection very much as well. <laughs> I am mainly more active over on my Instagram which is on the screen right now. Um, you can follow me there if you want. Um, I upload stories almost every single day of the mail that I get and um, everything that I'm selling, trading, also is on my Instagram as well. I'm just overall way more active on there and I find it it's a good platform to upload quick and easy videos rather than having to film a video, edit it, upload it, wait for processing times, and so on. It's just so much easier. So. Um, I do a lot more over on my Instagram than I do on this YouTube channel. But I thought, since um, a lot of people have been asking me questions about my binders, my sleeves, my penny sleeves, where I buy my photo cards, and so on, just so many questions, I thought I could just answer them all in a YouTube video as well as explaining my photo card collection and what photo cards are what and so on. So yes, um, this is just a very in-depth photo card collection, so um, sit back, relax, grab a snack, you know, we're just gonna go through all of this. It's gonna be a fun time, um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be very informative, and all of the links and everything will be in the description below, so you can just immediately click the link and order yourself the sleeves, the binders, whatever you find interesting in this video. So yes, let's just get right into it. <laughs> let's get it! So first I'm going to start off with my Ults binder, or my like second Ult binder. Um, this is basically my 17, TWICE, TXT, and AT's collection. These are the only other groups besides BTS that I collect um, for album PCs. I do not collect like tour, Japan photo cards, and so on. I just collect the regular Korean press photo cards. So they're all going to be in here, and this is a current work in progress. So for the binder itself, I bought um, all my binders from this website called Empire Imports. They are a little bit expensive because they are A4 size four ring binders, um, but I think they're definitely worth it. They're really nice um, and they work perfectly with the sleeves that I have inside as well. But so far on the front I just have um, TXT's uh, postcard from their latest released album. Um, it's just super simple and I love the look of it so I just put it in the front for now. So when we open it up, on the side here, I just have uh, TXT's clear group photo. Um, it's just like super kind of bulky and I don't like it in the sleeves itself, so I just have it sitting right here for now. So it's just chilling right here. Um, and then I have uh, just a freebie photo card of Vernon that I got from a trade. So for most of my sleeves that I have all my photo cards in, they are from an eBay seller, Andy underscore Jack. I will link... Um, everything down in the description below, like I said, for all the sleeves that I'm using. Um, but most of them that I have in my binders will be from the eBay seller. They are really nice quality and they fit perfectly in the four ring binders, so they're just amazing. Um, so anyways, we're starting off on my 17 collection. I only collect Vernon for 17. I think it's just a good thing to start off with um, for collecting like a big group that has multiple photo cards per album. Um, to just collect one member, especially when it's not like a top priority group for me, I guess. So I just collect Vernon and I am missing a lot of the earlier album photo cards, but I do have them laid out so when I do find them I will have the spot to fill in the blanks. But first I have Vernon's Polaroid card from the Boys B album and then I have Vernon's solo and um, duo um, photo card with Sung Kwan from the... Uh, Going 17 album. And next I have Vernon from Teenage and then Vernon's Lenticular from Director's Cut. And then this was actually the album that I first, I guess, started standing 17. Um, so I did buy um, two of the three albums. I'm still missing the Eternal Sunshine version, but it was really hard for me to find traits for this album. So just for now, I have the Meat version for um, Vernon's photo cards uh, complete, but I'm still looking for Follow and Set the Sun. I said Eternal Sunshine, I meant Set the Sun. <laughs> and then this is 
like technically my first comeback with Seventeen. I was here when they released You Make My Day for their comeback, but I didn't like know them yet, so I wasn't like sure if I was gonna fully stand them or not, but with this comeback I decided I wanted to stand and collect. So um, I do have majority of Vernon's full set complete for You Made My Dawn. Um, just missing his last version from Eternal Sunshine, but this is the Before Dawn, Dawn, and Eternal Sunshine version. And then we go into an ode. For these, I just like, since there's four photo cards per version, um, I just have four on each page and then just leaving an empty slot in the middle. Maybe I'll put like a sticker or something in here to like fill in the blank, but for now I just have um, a black uh, with a white on the back little um, photo card sleeve just to fill in the empty slots. So yeah, this is the begin version. This is the poet version. So this is the hope version and then this will be the truth version and then the real version and then the circle sticker cards. So I didn't actually pre-order the whole set because it was quite expensive, um, especially around the time that it came out. It was just really expensive for me, so I just decided not to pre-order the set, but I did order the signed copy from M-Wave for the um, poet version, which is why I have most of his cards complete. But I'm actually pretty proud on how far I've come with this collection, um, considering I only have one of the versions from this album set. So, but it is a current work in progress, hence why there is so many empty spaces. I also just realized that my camera kind of wasn't in focus, so I apologize for that. Um, but moving on, we have the latest album release for Seventeen, which is Hengare. Um, I did pre-order the full set, but I still have yet to complete his photo card sets. I'm still missing one photo card from the dual version, and then one photo card from the net version. And then I do have the pre-order benefit um, luggage tag PC from Weverse. But yes, so it's Hana, Dur, Set, Net for that layout, which I just found it fit perfectly in the nine sleeves, so we love that. Okay, and then we do have a complete set for the Hengare bookmarks for Vernon. I'm so excited I was able to finish these right away because these are just any photo cards bigger than the nine pocket size. It's just such a hassle to ship and trade. So um, I'm just so happy that I was able to complete these right away when I got the albums. So yes, we love a complete set of that. Um, but going on from here, these are just the bigger inclusions from the albums. I like to have them separate from the nine pockets because it just flows easier in the binder, in my opinion. But these are, um, the, just the two, like, postcards from the debut album. And then I have, uh, one lenticular from You Make My Day. This is the follow, yeah, follow version. And then we have the Before Dawn or no, this is Dawn, yeah. And Before Dawn as well. And then the Before Dawn version of the mini poster. Um, I was gonna put just full sleeves in here of them like this in my binder, but I decided I just like them folded up and using two pockets rather than wasting space on a single pocket. And I'm sorry for the sudden lighting changes. I'm using natural lighting, so the sun is just like, you know, coming in and out, but hopefully it's okay. <laughs> Okay, and then next we're going into my Twice collection. And for Twice, I only collect Dahyun. Um, I just find it easier, especially with Twice. They have so many photo cards per album. It's just crazy. But with her as well, um, I only collect nine photo cards from each album that have like 10 to 12 photo cards per member per album. It's just really complicated, but I just like go through the templates and find my favorite nine and just choose them and go from there. Um, but I do not have their earlier albums, so there's just a lot of empty spaces. Like 17, it's the same. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little bit better for the lighting, just not as bright and blown out <laughs> as I say the sun is coming out. <laughs> but yeah, so I just have Da Hyun's signal uh, pose card and the hollow signature card in the front. And then the next album I have is What Is Love. This is like around the time that I started getting into them more. So I just have three photo cards for Da Hyun's set for What Is Love. Next I have Yes or Yes. Um, just two. I do not have this album yet, but with cross-trading I was able to get these two. 
And then fancy set, this is around the time where I started like fully standing them more I guess. Um, and like decided I wanted to collect them so I almost have her set of nine photo cards complete just missing three and then her feel special set which is almost complete as well just missing three and then more and more I'm still waiting on three photo cards to come in the mail and then just missing one last version from this album I'm so excited to get this finished it was so hard for me to find trades because I pre-ordered this album from Choice Music and they had delays in shipping so it was hard to trade because I got the album like two months after everyone else did so I'm just glad that I was able to find trades and um, I'm just missing one photo card and then for the units slash groups for more and more I just have in here I'll have uh, both Dahyun units and then the uh, the trios I guess um, and then the two group cards I'll have in here as well and then these are the bigger inclusions. Um, I have Dahyun's and Mina's little sticker um, photo sheet thing, I guess, from What is Love. And then um, the trio like photo film set from Yes or Yes for Dahyun, which I was happy that she was like the like showing at the top version, <laughs> which is super nice to just fit in my binder. And then for bigger things like this in albums, I do collect Sana because she is technically my bias wrecker. So I have Dahyun and Sana for the fancy lenticulars. And then um, I did only get one version of Feel Special when it was released. Um, and I was lucky enough to pull Dahyun's lyric booklet. So I just have her sitting in here. And then for more and more, um, I did tear apart one of the sets of the postcards because I got three with my album. So like, why not? Um, so I put Sana and Dahyun in here and then Dahyun's coaster for more and more and still waiting for Sana to pop up somewhere. <laughs> okay. And then this goes into like pre-order benefits, I guess. I just have them at the end of my twice collection just to wrap it all up. Um, but I do have three of the most cards from the more and more albums because I did get all three versions So they're just chilling in here and then just a random yes or yes pre-order benefit photo card um, That I got as a gift from a friend and then the three group card pre-order benefits from more and more and then I will be keeping OT9 for the pre-order benefits because they're just so pretty and I like them like this all together. But for the earlier albums, I will collect only Dahyun and just buy them, you know, as I see them for a decent price. But we have the first version for more and more, the second version, and the third version. So that is the end of my twice collection and next we go into TXT. I only collect Subin for TXT and since they only have technically three albums out right now it is pretty easy to keep up with the collection but I am still looking for the last three I need. The one from the debut album and then the two student ID photo cards for their second album and I do have um, Eternity done so that is complete. <laughs> And then finally for ATs, it is so difficult to collect them and trade their photo cards for the member that I want to collect, which is Hongjun. Um, because the earlier albums, it is literally impossible to find trades or cards for like less than $30. <laughs> um, I did end up buying the repress albums from Choice Music when they were released, so I was able to get the albums themselves for a decent price, um, but it is difficult to find trades, so I am just keeping my original pulls for the earlier albums for ATs. So I do have Woo Young for the first album. Um, I did have Yosang for the second album. I ended up trading him for Hong Joon's episode 3 photo card. And then I do have um, an extra that I am saving for a friend to trade with the original pull that I got for this album. And then I got Jung Ho for the um, wave version of episode 3. Um, and they're just gonna chill in here because um, I have them posted on my Depop for trades, but we'll see if I'll actually find trades for them. I'm not upset about just keeping them because I love all the members anyway, so I don't mind. But for the later albums, I will trade for Hong Joon because it'll be easier as I get the albums as they release and trade them off right away. Um, but I am missing the last couple albums. Um, but yeah, I was mainly trying to focus on getting the, the more earlier albums as 
they were more like popular and out of press and just difficult to find so yeah but I will be getting those soon and I do have their new album coming in soon as well so that'll be in here as well. So for ATs, my bias wrecker is Yoonho, so I do collect him for the like extras that come in the album. So for like the square like lyrics slash calendar slash credits things, um, I just put Hong Joon and Yoonho in here um, because it just fills up nicely. So that was episode one, episode two, episode three, and episode three. And then back here, um, I am selling off a bunch of my collection, so um, I am keeping just a couple of my other albums, like I am keeping my Triple H albums and my Chungha album that I just randomly have because they are precious to me and I love them, so we're just keeping them in here. And that is it for this binder. Okay, so this is the binder that you probably have seen all over my Instagram because um, I am literally obsessed with it. Um, this is my Tussauds collection. Um, I did just recently give up my Jimin album photo card collection, um, which is very sad, but I will keep this photo because they are technically my bias line and I still collect some Jimin photo cards, so he'll be in here as well. But this is just the cover of my binder. This is the same four ring A4 size binder. Um, this is just in a three inch rather than a two and a half like my other album photo card. Yeah. So if we just open this up in the front cover. We have everything falling out. Um, I just have Jin and Hobie's Fifth Army kit, um, like clear photos that I bought from someone when the Fifth Army kit was released. Um, and then I have just a couple random envelopes. So like the Bring the Soul uh, postcard, Mediheal like postcards, and then a random like art print and the Memories of 2017 Blu-ray like holder thing and then a couple of the sleeves from the Fake Love uh, Japan album set thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so like I said, I did get rid of my Jimin collection, so this is how I have my binder laid out. If we open this up, I have two page spreads for Two Soak, which I actually love how this looks and it's just so nice and I only can focus on two members um, which is so much easier and manageable for me money wise so yes um, this is the start of it I'll just go down the line um, we have oh are you late to dark and wild school love affair special edition I only have Jin, and then we have HYYH part two and then um, this will be the Young Forever Taiwan photo card. I do have Hobies coming in the mail, which I'm so excited about. Um, and then we have You Never Walk Alone, Love Yourself, Her, L-O-V, back of the photo cards. And then E version, Love Yourself, Tear, Y-O-U and R, Love Yourself, Answer, S-E-L and F. I am so happy with how this page looks in particular. I just love how it looks complete and nice and we love it. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, so yes. And then we flip, we do see the BTS world back of the photo card PC right there, but we do have Persona version one, two, three, and four. And then the BTS world double-sided photo cards, the pajama code cards, luggage tag. I do have Hobies coming in the mail. And then this'll be the limited edition uh, version of the BTS world album photo cards that I don't have yet, but still looking for. And then we have uh, Mott's seven version one, back of Hobies. BTS World photo card, um, version two, three, and four. And then the empty slots for the new album that should be coming out soon because the new single release is at the end of August, which we love. Okay, I had to switch out my SD card because I was running out of space. Anyways, um, we go into School of Affair. So for these like bigger PCs, I do keep Jimin in here just to fill in the empty spot. Otherwise, I, it would really bother me. So we have Jin and Hobie and Jimin and I don't care for the group cards. Um, I do want two soaks like other versions of the group cards, but it's so hard to find these cards still connected together. So I don't mind just having one of each right now. 
And then we have HYYH part one with Jin, Hobi, Jimin, and the group. Same with Young Forever and Wings. And this is the group photo cards um, minus the two other versions of Dark and Wild and Mots 7. I still have yet to find those for a decent price, so we're still just waiting on those. And then these are the other like group inclusions, the tier standee, the persona standee, and then the BTS lenticular BTS world ticket thing. I just have chilling in here with the other group things. And then I do have the full set of the Persona postcards. Um, I was really proud of this because I ended up getting all of them on release day, which was so nice. <laughs> and then I do have the group postcard for Mots 7 as well. And then I have um, one of each from the Her albums of the Taiwan postcard sized album inclusions. Um, yeah. I just like randomly found these for a decent price. Um, I wasn't planning on collecting these, but when you find a good price, you know, you gotta get it. I'm not really looking for them like the other versions. I'm just, you know, if I see them for a decent price, I'm gonna buy them, but they're not like a top priority thing right now. But I do have Jin's Love Yourself Her V version and Hobie's Love Yourself Her E version for those. And then next we're going into the Japan photo cards. So. It's so hard to find Japan photo cards for a decent price, um, so I'm just limiting myself with my collection for Tusok for these. So I'm just gonna be collecting HYYH era ones and then the recent ones as they come out since I have been a fan. So um, this will be I Need You, I Need You Christmas, I Need You Yokohama, I think is what it is. <laughs> that is not correct the like other special edition one that's more expensive <laughs> um and then the run version and then this will be and then this is fake love lights and then it'll be journey which i am still looking for but they will come as they get cheaper <laughs> And now we're going into the DVD photo cards. Um, I originally, how I collected two soak was I just got the DVD, pulled whoever member I got, traded for either Hobie or Jin, didn't mind who, um, but it did end up being mainly Jin. Um, so I don't have a lot of Hobie's DVD photo cards, which is kind of sad, but I don't mind. I didn't mind at the time either, but now I'm gonna try to collect Tusok for all the DVDs that I have currently. Um, I don't have some of the Blu-ray uh, DVDs. I don't really care for buying the Blu-ray DVDs. I'm just going to try to catch up on my collection with Two Soak. Um, I'm not really looking to buy any photo cards that I don't have the DVD equivalents to. So yes, that's just what I have in here for now. Um, but we have now three, the two units that both of them are in. The 2017 Season's Greetings, the third muster, the third fan meeting in Japan, the Memories of 2016, um, I just love how they were both in a unit together, and then I just have the group uh, Young Forever photo card that I ended up pulling in my memories. And then the Wings Tour, 2017 Memories, 2017 Memories Blu-ray, Fourth Muster. This is the back of the Blu-ray photo card, it's so cute, I love it. It's one of my favorite photo cards. And then Fourth Muster Fan Meeting Japan. Um, Love Yourself Tour in Seoul DVD, Love Yourself Tour in New York DVD, Love Yourself Tour in Europe DVD, 2018 Memories, Fifth Muster, and then the 2019 Memories regular and Blu-ray versions that will be coming in the mail as they release, of course. And that is it for the DVD photo cards that I have. Um, there is a lot of empty spaces, but they're not a total top priority right now because I am working backwards in my collection which I will talk about later. <laughs> and then these are the other like bigger inclusions from the DVDs. And we love how the light goes away. <laughs> Please excuse the lighting. So I have Hobie's epilogue uh, DVD photo card. And then I have Two Soaks baby photos from the 2019 season's greetings. Jin's uh, selfie book from the 2017 summer package. Uh, Jin's guidebook from the 2018 summer package, 
Hobie's Blu-ray Love Yourself Tour in Seoul DVD booklet, Jin's Drawing Diary from the 2019 Summer Package. Uh, just randomly in here I have uh, Jin's uh, bookmark from the Now 2. Um, Jin's Winter Package from 2020. Hobie's Bring the Soul Lenticular and Jin's uh, Season's Greetings of 2020 Lenticular. And then these are the 2018 Season's Greetings postcards and then 2020 postcards in here. Okay, and then next we're going into tour slash muster um, concerts just in order of concert. <laughs> so for the earlier concerts slash musters, um, I am not really looking to get the sets. I'm just like trying to complete the sets um, as they come out and not really worrying about old concert merch because it is quite expensive to try to collect both members. Um, but I've just kept these. Um, when I first started collecting, I kind of went gung-ho and bought a shit ton of photo cards, um, but never really completed sets, I guess. Or I bought sets that were complete for a decent price because I wanted to fill up my collection a little bit more. But I'm not really looking for the old concert merch, um, just focusing on the newer stuff for them. So yes. Um, but I do have Jin's almost complete set from the one... 7520 second uh, muster, just missing number three. And then I just randomly have uh, Two Soaks unit in here, which is one of my favorite photo cards. Um, another Two Soak with Yoongi unit from the um, 18, what is it? The no, 22920 second muster. Um, and then I did want to try to get Jin's whole set from that muster, but I only ended up getting two cards, so I just have them randomly in here to just fill up the spaces. And I do have Hobie's full set from the epilogue tour. Um, I do want to try to find just two of Jin's photo cards since I don't have his set just to just fill up the spaces here um, and it'll be cheaper in the long run and I'll have both boys so I wouldn't mind it. And then I do have the full set of Hobie's third muster player cards um, as well as one of Jin's and I'll just probably try to find another one of Jin's to fill up the empty spot in here as well. And then this is just kind of random, I guess, but I have the two uh, Wings concept book lenticulars in here for both of the boys. And then the Third Muster photo album uh, square photos, I guess. <laughs> and then we go into Wings tour. This is the version two photo cards, I believe, the black back versions. Um, I originally wasn't going to look for these, but with Bang Bang Con releasing old merch, um, I ended up copying two sets of this photo card set. So I have been trying to trade them off, but as you can see, they are not complete. Um, I am trying to find the other ones that I need, but they're not a top priority right now, I guess, because I'm working on other things. But this is Jin's set with a Jin, uh, Namjoon, and Jungkook unit. And then... Hobie set, um, still missing four, and with a group uh, photo card. And then I do have Jin's complete set from the fourth muster cloud card set, and then just a random um, photo card that I've had for a long time from the Japan fourth muster set. Um, and then I do have Hobie's complete set, and I will just try to find a photo card to just fill the empty slot here. Um, this is where all of my hard work has gone into the past like couple months is completing the more recent tour sets. So yes, um, this is Jin's complete Love Yourself tour set with the luggage tag PC and Hobie's complete set with the luggage tag PC. And then two soaks units with Yoongi, just missing one of the other versions. So for these sleeves as well, they are different. They are from Amazon Japan. Um, they were pretty expensive, but they are definitely worth it for these photo cards because I really like how these are laid out nicely and they slide in and out of these pockets like really nicely. They just fit perfectly. So I love these so much. I will also put the link to these in the description below so you can find them there as well. But these are also the QR codes from both of the concerts that I went to for Love Yourself Tour and then just a random RJ Olive Young freebie photo card that I have in here. And then this is Jin's fifth muster set. 
um, with a Namjoon unit. Um, still looking for the other photo cards for these. And then Hobie set as well. This is just so sad. <laughs> um, it was really hard for me to find trades for this for some reason, so I ended up selling most of my other members off, which I kind of regret, but it's okay. Um, I will find these photo cards somewhere, but yes. So these are just in here for now. And then these are the guest book photo cards, only missing two for Jin. And then I do have the Japan clipboard PCs coming in that I will put in here since I'm not collecting the Japan muster photo card sets. And then Hobie set as well, as well as the Japan clipboard PC that will be going in there as well. And then these are the LG booth, I believe, um, photos from the fifth muster. And then this is Jin's Japan uh, Speak Yourself Tour photo set. I wasn't originally going to collect Jin's because I ended up buying Hobie's full set from someone. Um, but with all the trades that I've been doing in the past couple weeks, um, I found a lot of people that were willing to give me some of his cards. So I do have two still incoming in the mail. And then I'll just be missing four from his set. And then this is the photo card from the coin pouch. And it's the same outfits from these photo sets. So I thought it would just fit in here perfectly. And then I have Hobie's full set with the coin pouch PC as well. And this is Jin's full set from the final concert, including the ring PC. And I also have Hobie's full set as well with the ring PC coming in the mail soon. And then I have Jin's full set for the Mots tour. And incoming, I have the ring PC as well. And then this will be Hobie's full set eventually. Um, I'm still looking for these photo cards, but I do have one incoming in the mail as well as the ring PC. And then in the back here, I just have some random other things. Um, Jin's broadcast photo card from Fake Love era. I do want to get Hobie's, and this will probably be the only broadcast photo cards that I will try to find um, because it was technically my first like comeback as a fan slash collector with um, BTS. So I do want to get Hobie's just to have that in my binder for the memories. And then I do have two soaks, How You Pia postcard, which I love so so much because it's like dark and wild era and we, we love that era um and then i just have two um oh one of each of the boys's photo sets from the final um i didn't want to collect these because when i found out they were postcard sized i was like they're not gonna fit nicely in my binder so um i just got one of each and just have them back here randomly um, so yeah, they're pretty, I like them, but I just like the photo cards better, so, yeah. And then lastly, we have the Army Bomb PCs. This is from version 3 with the QR code, and then the Mods Tour Special Edition with the QR code as well. And then just some other things that don't really fit nicely in the pockets in my binder. I have one random Jin BBQ card that I have back here. Um, and then a unit from the final merch, um, that's Hobie, Jungkook, and Namjoon unit. And then I have, uh, two soaks posters from the Love Yourself Tour DVD back here as well. And that is it for my two soak binder. Um, really proud of this and I'm just really proud of the progress and, oh, I was gonna explain. So when I meant I'm working backwards in my binder, I mean like um, with the recent releases that I have in my binder, I'm focusing on completing those first and then moving up in pages. So um, recently I wasn't gonna try to get the Mots tour sets because I was just gonna wait until the tour to buy them, but um, I found decent prices for them. So I did end up just buying them and then um since i've been trading a lot of my jimin photo cards i've been trading for like some of tour cards from two soak that i'm missing so that's why i do have just random hobby ones in here um and buying them for decent prices too um so like these will be like a top priority i guess for looking right now but like i said i want to try to complete these pages before moving to the next one so before i got the Mots Tour ones, I was missing like two from each of the final sets. So then I had those complete as well as the ring PCs that I was missing. So once I like complete a page, I move forward. And um, so I had Hobie's full set. I bought the the 
coin pouch PC and then this will be like a next priority where I try to complete Jin's Japanese set and I'm sorry for the lighting as well. <laughs> oh my god, the sun just hates me today. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue explaining like while the sun tries to come back but so that's like how I'm working in my binder and DVDs aren't a huge priority right now for me either. Um, just mainly trying to finish tour stuff because I find that they're hard to complete as they get older and older and older and they tend to get more expensive as they get older as well. But also focusing on releases that as they come out and trying to trade off them right away for the members that I collect is also really easy as well, especially with only m collecting two members. It is pretty easy to complete sets right away. But yeah, so that is my two silk binder um, with a hint of Jimin in it. <laughs> um, complete. So for this next binder I have, it is just OT7 inclusions from DVDs that I ended up not wanting to trade off or sell off because they come as a set so why not just keep them and I keep them nicely in a binder just all at once. Um, in the front I just have a freebie poster thing that I got with like a postcard set that I bought randomly when I first started collecting and it is one of my favorite photos from the HYYH era um, and they recently brought this back up with Stay Gold and it just makes me really emo looking at it now but yeah so that's just in the front of my OT7 binder. But if we get right into this, if you've seen my old collection, you've seen these photo cards on the front covers of my old binders. Um, and they've just always, you know, stayed in my binders. These are just like freebies that I got at the concert the first time I saw them and they just hold a lot of memories to it. So it's just really random, but I love them in here. And then one of my first photo card trades, um, they like made this little thing that said to Taylor and it's just, it's so cute. So I've just always kept it in here. And then I have some random BT21 baby uh, tags. I don't know why I keep these, but I just think they're cute. So whatever. Going straight in, I have the now three big group uh, mini poster slash postcard, I guess. And then I could have put this in my two soak binder, but I've just kept them in here because I just don't like the look of the big inclusions <laughs> so I just have them in a separate binder but I have two soaks epilogue uh, blu-ray postcards and then these are all the ID photo cards from all the seasons greetings uh, 2018 19 and 20 and the group uh, photo card from the love yourself tour blu-ray version and then these are the seasons greetings of 2018 postcards of all the other members and then season screenings of 2019 uh, group big mini poster things, I guess. Uh, just two of the versions. The last one is in the back cover of this binder. And then these are all the other members' um, postcards from the 2020 season screenings with a misprint um, Tay clear sleeve cover. I got two of Namjoon's for some reason that was on top of Tay's that I just never complained about because I don't really mind. It's just sitting in my binder anyway. And then Jungkook on the back as well. And then these are the other mini posters of all the members from the 2020 season's greetings. And then the units. And then these are the postcards from the 4th Muster Korean version, Japan version. The mini poster slash postcards from Love Yourself Tour in New York, Love Yourself Tour in Europe DVDs. And then these are the like cinema tickets from the 6th uh, gen army kit. And then the uh, mini posters from the summer package in Saipan. And then the summer package in Korea. And then this is from the winter package um, from 2020. I did um, rip them all up and put them in here because I didn't like how they were just sitting in that box in the big box with the DVD and stuff. So I did tear them all apart and put them in here, but I do have the full set, of course, 
for those as well as the little clear photo that I guess Big Hit is liking to do with their groups now. <laughs> um, just chilling in here as well. And then this is um, tour stuff now. These are the two BTS Studio LG postcards from the Love Yourself tour from both days um, that I went. And then my two tickets from the Chicago shows as well as my GA wristbands. And then for Love Yourself tour, since it was like my first tour with them and I bought a shit ton of photo card sets, I decided I wanted to collect OT7 for all of them. Um, so I do have them almost all complete. I am just missing one photo card for each boy that I am desperately on the hunt for just to complete. Um, but we have Namjoon's set, Yoongi's set, Jimin's set, Tae's set, and Jungkook's set. And then the units as well, I'm only missing one from each unit. So yes, that is almost complete. Still looking for them. And then these are from the name tag, like lanyard um, PCs. Um, and they're like the hollow cards. Um, I just have them all chilling in here. I could put like two soaks units with my other muster merch in the two soak binder, but I just decided to keep them all together in here. I have Jin's Mediheal postcards from like one package of Mediheal face masks that I bought. And then I have Hobie's and Jimin's as well. And then I've tried to sell the other members of, uh, in the past. And then lastly, I have the Jin and Hobie Bring the Soul um, postcards. Um, I did end up selling some of the other members. Um, and I still have some of the other members up for sale on my Depop shop as well. But yes, so I just kept two soak for that. And then these are all just extra sleeves. And then in the back here, I have the like receipt and shopping list from the Love Yourself tour that I've just kept. <laughs> um, and then I have a couple more BT21 tags, the poster from the summer package in Korea, and then a Build-A-Bear um, birth certificate. This was in my other binder, I believe, um, from my bear that I named after Hobie. And that is it for this OT7 binder. Um, this isn't, like, this is just a random binder that I just put all the other inclusions in. There's no real, like, I'm desperately looking for layouts and stuff like that, but yeah, I just like having them all in a binder because it's just nicer to have them all together in one place. Okay, so the last thing I have is this photo album from the Third Muster um, that I just keep all of the 5x7 uh, like photos in. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, so I do have uh, some of the live photos from Hobie's set from the... Um, ex the re most recent exhibition. I but I have Hobie's full set from that. I am just missing one because I do have it in a frame in my room. Um, but it's the Love Yourself, like, uh, O version, like, concept. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is all of Hobie's. And then I only have two sets from Jin's, or one set. I only have one set from Jin's. Um, and I'm still looking for the other sets, but it's not, like, a top priority thing right now, so... And then this is from the exhibition book. I just have the OT7 set in here as well. And then next I do have Hobie's full set from the Armypedia postcards from all the eras. And I don't have gins for these sets. Um, I am looking for those as well. And then these are from the pre-order benefit frame uh, things from Persona. Um, I just took them out of the frames and put them in here because I like them better in here rather than in the little frames. And then these are the photos from the uh, winter package of OT7. And that is it that I have in this just random binder. Um, this is meant for like little, like obviously the muster like photo cards um but I like just having them in these it's just nicer and I like the color of this little binder so it's cute it's nice so yeah that is the end of my collection 
Hi, sorry, this is a bit random. Um, before I end off the video, I just, like, realized that I didn't say what I wanted to and I missed a couple things. Um, for my penny sleeves that I use for each individual card, I use Ultra Pro and I buy mine in packs from Amazon. They are super nice, super, like, thick, nice quality, and they don't fog up after a while. I've been using them since I've started collecting and they're just super nice and my go-to, so yes, I recommend those. Another question I get asked a lot is where I buy my photo cards, and I use Depop, eBay, Mercari Japan, Instagram, and Twitter mainly to search for photo cards that I need. Um, otherwise, I mainly get a lot of mine from buying albums and DVDs. Also for where I buy my DVDs and CDs, I mainly use Weverse and K-Town For You. They're just the easiest and best sellers that I've used so far. Also, I most of the time don't really buy photo cards, um, only when I'm desperate and trying to finish sets, but I mainly try to trade most of my photo cards, so that's also how I've gotten a lot of my photo cards. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me to do an updated binder collection. I will be uploading a shorter flip through version on my IGTV so you can check that out as well if you don't want a more in-depth version of my photo card collection. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and yes, you will find all the links to everything I mentioned down in the description below so you can go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't know when I'll see you next on this channel, but uh, check me out on Instagram and follow me there. We can be friends. Yay! Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.